All right, let's see if I can get this camera right. Let's see how long it takes me to get this camera straight, okay. Yep, we'll just bring that here, move it slightly. We're good, no, actually, let's tilt it over. A little too much, too much to the left. Let's move it over, tilt it, and I think we're... No, that's not it yet. We need to turn the right, there we go. Zoom it in a little bit, that's a little too much. That's, uh, let's back it up, and no, we need to get it a little bit cleaner. Let's get it closer to that, and yep, I think we got it. Let's start the video, and here we go. Just kidding, we gotta move it just a little bit more, fix the lighting on the right side there, and uh, yeah. Yeah. Yo, okay, face guy here. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk about my top five online retailers when it comes to buying audio gear. And this goes for car audio, home theater. It even goes for audio and visual too. So television projectors, screens, things of that nature. Now there is no particular order for this. There's not one that I use more than the other, but these are my go-to five. When I'm looking for new gear, these are the sites that I always check out first. So we're gonna start off with the fan favorite, and that's simply Amazon.com. Amazon is the largest online retailer. It has made every person in the world so much lazier now. It has literally closed down malls in America because you can get everything from Amazon, including your groceries. And so they are a great place to grab your audio gear. I can't tell you how many speakers I have bought for Amazon and how many projector screens and, and tools, gear, wire, all from Amazon because they have a really nice and easy platform simple to use. Their return policy is excellent. You can return almost everything even after having it two months. <laughs> so you can pretty much find what you're looking for from all of your major retailers and even some you may have never heard about. They bring it to your house in two days or less if you have Amazon Prime. It's just a really quick and easy way to get what you want. And a lot of people review their products on Amazon. So there's how-to videos, tips and tricks videos, and just other customer reviews on products before you buy. So of course, I'm gonna have to mention Amazon and they have an app that you can download free right from your phone or tablet. So it's a great place to start off with. Now my next recommendation for online retailers is Crutchfield. Crutchfield is an excellent place to find your gear, especially for home audio and car audio. They have a plethora of options for you. They also allow you to do payment plans for three months. So if you don't have the money up front, you can break it down. They have tons of options for you. So when you click on something, it gives you the product, gives you pictures of the product, gives you specifications, gives you manufacturer um, specifications as well and reviews, and then gives you consumer reviews as well. It also has specifications so you can see your frequencies, you can see all the stuff about the television, whatever you're buying, it has all the specs for it. So you can see everything right there from the website. Now it's really cool for car audio because speakers are kind of based off of your car's speaker size, the door speaker size, tweeters, mid-ranges, whatever, you can put your car, the name Lexus NX 2017, that's what I drive, I can type that into Crutchfield. It'll only show me things that fit into my car and it'll show me all the recommended wiring that I need as well. Home theater wise, it'll show you receivers and then it'll say recommended speaker wire for you, recommended amplifiers for you. So Crutchfield is a great place to start off with because it shows you almost everything you need to know, break it down into payments, shows you reviews, specifications, and it has open box items as well. So if you wanna save a little bit of money, you can find some refurbished or open box lightly used items on their website as well. That is awesome. Now a lot of you guys may have not heard of this one or use them very often, but my go-to is Worldwide Stereo. They are really, really good and similar to this next one on my list, they have a lot to offer you, not just speakers and receivers and amplifiers, but a whole bunch of really nice high-end gear. This is one of the better websites when it comes to stepping out of your normal Polk Audio clips, Yamo, Definitive Technology, you wanna step into some of the higher, maybe lesser known or sought after brands like Kef, for example, or Focal, things like that, Bowers and Wilkins. This is where you get those kinds of speakers and turntables and amplifiers from. They even have projectors, projector screens, and they have an amazing customer service. Now, I haven't said this yet in the video, but I am not affiliated with any of these websites. Again, this is what I use personally when I'm looking for my gear. And worldwide 
Sky Stereo is excellent. Really quick shipping, never had any issues, and they always come in really good condition as far as the box goes and if it was damaged or not, never had any issues. Same with the other few that I mentioned before now. So check out WorldWideStereo.com. They have an amazing plethora of mid-tier and high-tier gear. Now we all heard of this website too, and it's actually very similar to Worldwide Stereo, but with some improvements, and that's Audio Advice. Audio Advice is a really great site for a lot of reasons, and my number one reason why they're so good, not because they have everything, not because they get all the gear first when it first comes out, but they have a dedicated YouTube channel, and you don't really see many manufacturers who are big on YouTube. Yes, all manufacturers know that social media presence is important, but nobody really does it like Audio Advice, minus maybe a, a handful. Audio Advice has their own YouTube channel where they review the products on their website. So you get to see from them what they have in stock, how to use it, how to set it up, how does it compare to the rest of the market. And like I said, they have all the new stuff. Anything that market, they're gonna have it. Now they take it a step higher and they have their own home theater design tool. So if you are building your first home theater or you're moving into a new house and you wanna put one together, you can use their design tool to measure out your room and it'll tell you where, there's, where your seating should be, where your speakers should be placed, how far away from the screen you should have, what size screen you should have. They have a really nice design tool that takes the guesswork out of building a home theater and it's all free. If you still have problems using their website, they have a help center that you can call and they can help you utilize their tool or you can jump on their YouTube channel and watch them use it firsthand. So they take it up a notch. Not only do they sell high-end, high-quality gear, but they also present them to an audience like you on YouTube, kind of like I do here. So it's a great uh, website to use to find anything you're looking for home theater related. Now there's no way I can go and finish this video without mentioning my actual friends down at Accessories for Less. I have bought so many different speakers from them, including my Kest speakers and my previous Canton speakers from them, that they now recognize my email. And so when I buy something, they're like, hey, okay, this guy, what's going on? What are you doing now? So it's really cool. They have a really friendly chat center. You can talk to them. What's really nice about them, a lot of people assume Accessories for Less is either um, a fake site or a refurbished only site. Neither of those are true, but why people think that they are what they are is because they tend to sell their speakers at 30% off, 40% off, 50% off on almost everything all the time. And it's not because it's B, B stock, bad tier gear. It's not anything like that. They just simply sell high end gear at low end prices. And I've bought a lot of speakers from them and I've never once had a bad speaker. I bought new speakers from them and I've bought refurbished speakers from them. They still hold on to their manufacturer's warranty. They still come boxed in the manufacturer's box. It's a really great place to find gear for less money. Now they're not always on top of the new gear. They don't have a huge selection of gear, but if you know you want something, it's worth going over there and seeing if they have it because more than likely accessories for less will have the best price. So I've been using them for years and years and years to the point where now when I get on there and I chat box with them, they usually know who I am. I bought so many things, but I could not go without mentioning them because they are great to work with. Their website is relatively easy to use. You can buy new, you can buy refurbished or open box, and it keeps the price low. So if you're somebody who doesn't wanna spend a lot of money, it's a good place to start there. Now they don't have any type of payment plan type things, but it's okay because you're probably gonna find your speakers or your equipment at a lesser price overall anyway. So they are a great company to work with. They've been around forever, and I heard that they may, um, I don't know, stop selling certain brands or whatever. I hope they continue to, to up their catalog because I would like more people to know about them and buy from them because they are great to work with and they sell some really good gear for a lot less than most everybody out there. So definitely check out Accessories for Less and tell them KP Scott sent you. All right guys, that's gonna do it for my five online retailers that I buy my gear from. And I mean it guys, I buy all of my equipment from one of those five sites. I rarely go into a store and buy anything. I, I've never bought a speaker or anything from Best Buy. I've never bought one from H.H. Gregg when it existed, Circuit City when it existed. I never did any of that. Everything for, for me is online, which is fun. It's cool. You have 
a huge catalog. It sucks because you can't hear them unless they're in your home, but a lot of companies know that and they have like a 30 day, 60 day, 90 day return period, in home trial, something like that. And if not, it's usually really easy to return it. Um, a lot of manufacturers will send you a shipping label and won't cost you to send it back. So, but those are, are those are my five online retailers that I use to buy any home audio or car audio gear. And I'm curious to know what your sites are. Leave me some new ones down below that I didn't mention. I'm curious to see what you guys know about. Don't keep any secrets from me because I might be in for some new gear soon. So let me know what you guys are using as your go-to websites. Hit the like button and subscribe if you are not already. We will see you guys on Wednesday for the next episode of Subscriber Showcase. You guys take care. See ya. Say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down